question. Okay. Um, so, Ms. Hineev, Exhibit 1 is your Facebook conversation with Sandy Benepal. Mm -hmm. um, I'll let you look at my sure. copy for now Thank for you. the purpose of the question. Yep. Okay. Uh, three quarters of the way down the page, you say, awesome, okay, I am a trans woman, just so you know, and I haven't gone through surgery yet, so mm -hmm. I still have male parts. Mm -hmm. But I would really like a Brazilian done to clean it up. What is your availability yeah. like? You see that there? Yeah, yeah. All right. And you did not tell Ms. Vanipal that you uh, have female, uh, external, external female genitalia? No, I didn't. Okay. And earlier in this proceeding, uh, you... Because, because you know what? If I would have said I'm intersex, Number one, they're not going to know what that means. And number two, we're going to be in the same spot as well. You know what? And I know it. Am I not right about this, Mr. Cameron? If, if they're refusing to do wax because of their, they insert religion here, essentially, or whenever they want to deny service, they're not going to do it regardless. And I'm going to put it to you this way, Mr. Cameron. Morgane O'Shea, for example, has stated online that she is intersex. But we don't know what exactly, and it's none of our business knowing exactly what is going on with her. So your clients would most likely deny service to her, and we know how powerful of an advocate she is. And believe me, it wouldn't be a $3,000, it would be a lot more than that. What, what, no, what, what, what we, what, essentially what's going on here with all these complaints is setting, is setting a president, as I stated, religion versus human race yet. And basically, can, can you refuse service based on somebody's gender identity? This is, as you know, if, if Ms. Cousineau decides in a favor against the LGBTQ, it can be extremely, extremely, extremely dangerous. Because basically what you're saying is I get this, someone can walk into a private restaurant, as I stated yesterday, like a pizza shop, and get refused service just because they want to, and now it's prohibited, it's permitted in the, in the Human Rights Code. So essentially what would happen here is if Ms. Kustino said, okay, you know what? This is this is permitted, it's all okay. This would give leeway to for anyone, for anyone to refuse service to anyone just because they want to. And wait, wait, um, in the interest of time, yeah. we need to do question and answer and argument later. Okay. Again, this goes to this goes to the issue of credibility. So uh, if I can direct your attention back to exhibit. Yeah. You said, oh, uh, I need that this again. Is, this is the Miss and You say, I am a trans woman, just so you yeah. know. I haven't gone through surgery yet. Which is true. Now, your evidence before this tribunal was that you were scheduled for surgery. Yeah, I am scheduled. I'm, but you, you know, what how long surgery is that for? I'm not answering that question. That's inappropriate. This is. I, no, this no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not answering what, sur what surgery I'm going to be undergoing. It's completely personal and it's completely irrelevant what surgeries I'm going to be going through. Again, this question. And that also, the you know the I other thing too, Mr. Cameron? I don't know what my doctor is going to do. So I can't even answer that question. Okay. The, the, again, it's a long process. The issue of credibility. This goes to truth. It is the respondent's submission in all of these cases that there has been a, a long string of half truths and fabrications. It is the respondent's submission that this is another fabrication. It goes to credibility. So I, I, this is, I wanted to know whether or not you are willing to provide this tribunal with any authenticated medical no. documents regarding your genitals or your upcoming surgery. No, because we're going back to the same way as, and I don't have anything booked yet. What I have is uh, estimate on when things are going to be done. Okay. I'd like to direct your attention to exhibit number nine. I don't think you understand, Mr. Cameron, how much is involved in transgenderism and 
everything that undergoes, including hormones, hormone increases, decreases, change in medication, on all every little side effect, and everything that it's uh, it's not like oh you just go into you get your stuff it's done and you're out. It's not like that. Okay, missing you at all. Um, yes. Listen, at the moment, I'm just trying to ascertain whether or not you're telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So exhibit number nine is some screenshots here. Um, and I just want to stop you there, Mr. Cameron. We've already we've already gone through this. I've never sent these, and I'm just going to keep it like that. Okay. So any question in regard to this, this wasn't from me, and I don't know what the hell this is. Okay. There is a long stream of communications from what appears to be your account dealing with the subject of genitals, tampons, mm -hmm. and questions on uh, Facebook forums like uh, like makeup forums and things like that. This statement, I'm going to ask you this statement in the middle here, where you say, uh, speaking of being in a change room to bond with the girls, the restroom I've mastered to some degree asking for This is irrelevant and I never sent this. Okay, this is an exhibit filed Proceeding. Yeah. I'm asking you whether or not this statement, just yeah. listen to me, okay. Okay, this statement that uh, you've mastered to some degree asking for tab, uh, pads, tampons, and complimenting makeup and shit, with the rest of the girls that have their tits and pussy out, even though I don't have the parts for that, you know, and also like, is it weird to look for the string to know who to ask for one? Like, even though I have a dick, unfortunately, I can be fully out there and change with them. Like, I don't want them to give me any issues or things. Okay, and your question? My question for you mm -hmm. is, this is a statement from, from an individual with your picture, yep. okay, with your name, yep. okay, on the internet, mm -hmm. asking questions, and, you know, there are a lot more threads like this which are very, uh -huh. very similar, some of which have been filed with, with this tribunal. Mm -hmm whether or not this statement here is true or false. I never sent this, so it's, it's a false statement. And like I've said to you, and I can show you, Mr. Cameron, there have been loads of fake profiles created of me, tons. Now, you're on Reddit, on Ask FM, on, you know the whole list. No, I, I don't know the whole list. Okay. Mm -hmm. like, like, like your your staff member, Lindy, Lindy Shepard, has created a whole bunch of fake accounts too. Okay. And I got him suspended on Twitter. Lindy so. Shepard is not an employee of the Justice Center. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, she is. She, she, she published it online that she is. Yeah, no, she did. is not an employee of the Justice Center. And there's a news release out there, which I'll print out, which, which states that she's an employee of the Justice okay. Center. My question to you is, is that when you... And she's on, her, and, and she's on your team page, too, just so you know. My question for you mm -hmm. is whether or not it is your position that somebody in their private residence should be compelled to wax biological male genitals against their will. Do you believe that the state should compel that service? Like, I, like I've said in my opening statements, she had to advertise a service. That is, when she advertises the service, it's open to the public. Now, because, no, 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 let me finish. Now, sir, listen, when the services are, are advertised, they are customarily available to the public. You cannot choose who your clientele is going to be. You posted based on their gender identity and sex. That's why we're here. You posted a picture where you reported that you had been burnt at an arm wax. Yeah. By a service provider who burnt your arm and you posted pictures of that. Yeah, on my private Facebook, which I don't know how you got access to. Yeah. Well, your your private Facebook, whatever you post on the internet, news flash your IT. Yeah, I did get burnt. Okay. So you posted the picture and you complained about the service provider who burnt your arm. Yeah. Okay. Is it relevant? She didn't burn my arm. I had an allergic reaction to the wax. Okay, well, I found it out later. I did post, I thought it was a burn. I went to the doctor, it was not a burn. I was an allergic reaction to the materials used. It was okay. the dirty. Um, the location in question was the, it's a, it's a nail salon that's out of Wilbur Mall. Okay. Is closer it? towards the bay. And the other thing, I, I, no, I, I want to mention this, so don't, please don't cut me off here. That location is absolutely filthy. There was blood on the walls. There was feces everywhere. I reported them to free their house. Uh, it was quite a crap show. 
they everything there was